They didn't even, uh, I don't even have my second dose. I've been delayed. I haven't, I still haven't received it. And I don't know which I'm going to receive it. So I'm just saying if teachers are. We have to give somebody, we have to give the teachers, we have to give the students, the parents a date. Of what at least we don't have to, we don't have to give anybody any date. <laughs> we don't have to do anything that we don't want to do right now. That's what you don't understand. I don't know where you're getting your information or who's telling you that we have to make a decision today, but that is not how this works. We do not. I know that you're new to the school board. I'm not saying this is a slight to you, but we do not have to make a decision today. 70 to 80 percent of them have answered the survey. They want to come back to school. So this is what we're going to do. Who are the 70 to 80 percent and where are they? I would like to know geographically from which school sites, which language group, and how we conducted this feedback. Where? Please give it to me before I can make a decision. I can't make one. I cannot make one. And I will not make one. You're welcome to abstain, I, I believe, right? There's no reason to be nasty with me, Ms. Riley. And we can present it for vote. And Charlie, if you wish to vote no, you are more than welcome to, or you can. I know what I'm welcome to do, you guys. I do. And I know that what we're doing is wrong. So how are we forcing people? That seems like a very white supremacist ideology to force people to comply with, you know, and conform. <laughs> Just letting you know. Privilege. Check it, you guys. I'm at. So I don't want to be a part of forcing anybody to do anything they don't want to do. That's what slavery is. I'm not going to be a part of it. Like nobody even knows. None of you guys even know what we're talking about right now. This seems like a mess. We should not be voting on this tonight. <laughs> you guys don't have all the information that you need. You guys are just saying what you're speaking from your heart, and that's fine. I, I take great offense to the to the statement that no one on here knows what they're talking about right now. And I don't believe that be the case at all. And um, I wasn't talking about you, David. I was talking about my fellow board members, especially the new ones. I'm not talking about me either. I'm talking about your fellow board members. I don't think well, that they can that's speak a fair for statement. Themselves. They can speak for comments. themselves. If they have an issue with me, they can tell me, but you don't need to speak for them, David. I, I can speak for them if I choose to. And right well, now I choose not, to tell you that I think good. that is uh, offensive. Well, don't I, say that you can speak for others. That's not appropriate. Okay. So let's, let's, I, we're upset and I know this. And is, it's disrespectful. Like this is the second time you've disrespected me, David. I think this should be a, that should be a private conversation between. No, it doesn't need to be private. None of this sure. needs to be private. Racism doesn't need to be private, Becky. I don't, I don't need racism to be private. What I need to do is move this meeting along so that we can address the issue of if we're going to approve the school reopening plan um, and if we're or not, or if we're going to set a reopening date. And that's what we need to talk about. By, by what exactly? By what you just said, Mr. Superintendent. You were shocked and appalled that I said that I thought it was offensive that you said your colleagues don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, and then you said that you can speak for all of us. Okay. You don't speak for us. No, that's I, I wasn't. That's, that's, not not I was that's, not that. no, okay. that's, that's not what I was saying. That's not what I was saying. No, that's not what I said. Okay, so. so not what I said. We need to stay focused. Well, if our meetings were actually recorded for the public, we would know that. It's recorded. That actually, they are. Rebecca announces that at the beginning. Where are they? Where are they? They're not easily accessible. I can pull it up. I'll show you. It says in here, it says in accordance with board bylaw 9324. This is really accessible. Um, I'm sure that you could ask Kathy to. Um, Does everybody have a Kathy? No, this is what we're talking about. And you guys know what I'm speaking about. So please stop trying to make me seem like I don't know what I'm talking about. And like I'm dumb. And I would like to say that I'm offended by the smirks on you guys' faces. I'm just confused. Honestly, I, I I don't understand why you're so upset. I I don't. That's why I'm, I'm upset. Very, I'm not upset. Not, you uh, may not you may not know me, um, but I'm not upset at okay. all. At all. Okay. So that's just I'm just confused, and I know you keep throwing out the racism, but I am Hispanic, so um, I'm Hispanic, and I I have four adopted children. We look like the UN. So that's why when you say you're you're throwing out the racism, um, I, I don't I don't understand that part either. So I'm just confused. That's it.